I do. Yeah. Okay, everything's there. I'm also gonna start mine. Oh, wait. Do we have the baguette now? No. Okay. Bitrate is 6,000. I think I have the video at. Yeah, yeah 1080p. Bish. Why Show is it? Loud. <laughs> I, I have a calling coming. Fuck's sake. Me. Five minutes ago. You hungry? You know. <laughs> I just think that you'd like to be awkward. Yes, hello. Well, I don't know about you, that's why I love you, because you're awkward. I just want more I want when I want it. Alright. All right, I'm in. All right, do I, do I, I'll press F, yeah? You ready? Go. All right, Flame, you ready? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 not stop the game. So stop the stream. Uh, stream started. Your stream has started. Uh, it, I haven't pre pressed F yet. I'm waiting. Uh, I just need to get my... Password for the internet. So I can view on my phone. Because I can't. Oh, wait, here's my little phone. What about? Here's my little phone. My what? I, I was opening this. I do apologize. I'll stop. Are you going to co stream? Yes. Well, that's not going to be the tag because co stream is a different thing. But yeah, we're going to basically both be streaming together in the same phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, you like that. That's the password. Got it. Right, I'm gonna start mine now. Wait, you stream or the game? The stream. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Just trying to get it up on my phone. And I'm live. Let me know when you're ready to start the start the wizarding world together, but. Whilst my other phone is charging, I might as well get the uh. Okay, boom. Rich. Ooh, how's it looking? Guys in here already. Hey, gun guy. It's been a long time. What's it been? Two, three years? Wow, fuck gun guy joining you and not me. I think he's just coming on to tell us to join uh, the the other call. Which we can't do. We're doing professional wizarding stuff. You took you long enough to bring up your chat. I know it took long enough because I forgot that my other phone is connected to the internet and not my other phone that's even better than the other phone. He's here too, somehow. And so I was putting it on charge, but then I realized it's going to take like 10 minutes just to fucking boot up. So I put the internet on my other good phone. <laughs> I've got a gun guy. 
I'm ready, I'm ready. How's the sound? How's the volume? Because I trust you, gun guy, over then. Fucking <sighs> yummy nut, you know. I mean, my sound should be okay. Yeah, well, I've tested I've it, and it, sh it should be fine, but... I practiced very hard on mine. So, mine should be good. That my FTS count is broken. So that's nice. So I don't know how much FPS I'm going to get. The sound you is shit, but well, that's because me. of your Razer surround sound shit. I, I've turned that off <laughs> for, for this. I've turned off that. I've just put Razer Kraken Ultimate. It's not the THX. It should be normal. Let me get the, the FPS counter on from Steam. I almost choked on a baguette. Let's yeah. not do that. FPS counter. Imagine that thing, loading up a Hogwarts Legacy, doing everything, accepting the letter, and then choking and dying before you get to play. Uh, makes it too bassy and boosted. Hey, what's wrong with bass boosted? There's no filters on it. I could probably change some of the settings without ending the stream. Uh, about 44. I don't know if that would have changed anything, to be fair. Oh, yeah, I've already tested that. I don't know why he's quiet, because usually everyone is, like, really loud. Uh, but I, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Uh, how's the sound now? I did change the hertz frequency. That could have helped. I'm assuming I'm quiet in your stream, and that's what Gunga was talking about. Yeah, I have no idea what was going on with that. I tested that I earlier. I mean, you're perfect in mine, so... Mm. It didn't change anything. All right. Uh, usually, everyone is... When I'm on Discord, everyone is loud in my streams. Don't know what's happened there. Filters. Edit filters. Add filter. Uh, about I add, how about I add a noise gate, Gunga? Really? When I, when I was today, everyone was louder. Oh, in the past, I did actually have to turn down everyone. It was hard to hear everyone because it was so loud. I, so I did that uncontrollably, but this this one, no. For some reason, it's quiet. I don't know why. Uh, but how about a noise gate? How will that work? Will that be alright? Or a limiter? I'll just try shit. Uh, battle limiter. Add. I don't know. How's that? I added a limiter. Did it stop the bass? Howdy. Howdy. Also, due to you mess around with yourself, I'll read it out for both my stream and yours. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Tim begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic of those under, eight, under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Uh, I just added a noise gate, is that alright? No. Okay, delete that one. Compressor? That might work. No, I'm, okay, no, that's not gonna work. The compressor doesn't do that. Remove that. VS2 X plugin? What's that? VST2.x. What's that? I don't know. Maybe I'll 
mess about with this limiter. How's that? Is that good? I don't know, I just got you. I don't know, I just got you. No difference. Okay. Oh, wait! I think I know what it might be. I think it might be my Razor. I have a base boost on it. I just remembered. <laughs> Turn the base boost off. Turn the threshold off. Just get that limiter off. <laughs> that might have been on my bed. <laughs> how, how's that good guy? How's that? Um, the base boost is turned off. <laughs> Alright, are we ready, bud? I'm I'm hoping so. I just gotta wait a few minutes. Yeah, I turned my razor audio equalizer saying down. Uh long time ago because it messed with my stream audio. Uh well the equalizer wasn't on, it was just the bass booster that I put on. Oh wait, uh, oh I do have audio equalizer on for game, uh, but I had a enhancement for bass boost. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, I just looked. But uh, how's that? It's off. I just heard it click there, and it just changed. It's good. It's all good. We're good to go, Cold. It was me all along. Yippee. Let's go. Let's go. Right, finally. Three. Yippee. Two. Right, two. One. One. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. I could have done this the entire time. Hey, this guy looks like me. Hey, this girl looks like me. Everybody looks like me. Hey, Potential he, me. He looks like me. Color actually, I'm, I'm, I'm might actually stick bitch. with that guy. Actually, that wasn't a bad random pick. Hair. Let's not do that. Skin color. What, 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 why is the old old face shape? Oh, I thought it was fucking hair. Huh? What? What'd you say? Second column, second row. What works? Oh. oh. Oh, wow, I can have my hair any color I want. Oh, yeah. She uh, looks like me, for sure. For sure. No, wait. Third row. Okay. Well, I don't know. Oh, third column. Oh, oh, oh. I see, I see. Oh, oh, oh. So far, the last one looks like me on my end. Mmm. Who's Jade? Jade. Ass, ass, Jade, ass. Hi, I want to offer a promotion of your channel. Use. Oh, it's just a oh, spot. It's bot, yeah. It happens a lot, Frank. Trust me. Why is he so it's freckly? Not nice, I'm not freckly. Go to the bigfellows.com for me. Okay, bigfellows, bigfellows. I don't think it mattered which I chose because th now th this guy almost. It's that guy. It was like the first one. Ooh, no. 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 No, 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 maybe, yes. What do you think? Those uh, fuckers right wait. there. I need maybe. dreary ass eyes, there we go. That's the super tired this looking guy? eyes. Ooh, that's kind of close. Yeah, she's got a fine uh, fucking face, you know that. Big old lips. Can we go back to the other guy? I can't go back to the other guy. Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to go that far back. Yeah. What's it, what, what can I change on you? What? Ah, oh, it's, it's practically the same. Except he is a bit different, I will admit. Uh, so maybe. There we go. Maybe go back to him. 
maybe change I feel like that one that one that third one What's ah, this? story difficulty normal hard yes oh I forgot skin color <laughs> I don't know I'm quite quite white I see it. I see it. You know, this this just looks like me. Oh, here we go. What's this? Does it look mm. like you found? Does it? Mm. I, I wish he'd part the hair. Does it look like, like you don't find? Does it? He had dreadlocks. Fine. Yeah. So does it look like you though? It does. It does. It look like you. That like little shit a bit. I Ooh, mean, mine actually looks pretty much like me. Oh. It could be a little bit more pale, but you know. There's on the other side, but yes. I'm not picking all the African options. I'm picking my hair. Ah, uh, oh, hmm. I do like that one because it's a bit wavier. Ooh. You know, it's a bit, a bit of character, isn't it? I like him. My complexion is safe. No. Wait, that's new commander. I ain't that good looking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then I keep trying all the. Oh my god. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them. You'd be surprised. It's because they're inclusive, which is good. I mean, um, in fact, it took me no time to make my character look semi like me. The character's better looking than me, but it doesn't take much. Hmm. That's brown, but mine's a bit of a lighter brown. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, my hair is not that nice. Oh, I think I yeah. got it. Oh, I'm a wave view. I take a oh. long-ass time with these character customizations. I'm sorry. <laughs> I go the Freckles and moles. Mm. Oh, dang. Or is that just clear? Mm. I don't know. Let's have. That's, that's got a few. You know, that's some character right there. I've got a few on my face. I don't think I have that many. I don't just have the one eye. Oh, I realised I'm playing. Yeah, no. There's me thinking. Oh, we get to go into Aragog's forest. Aragog isn't around it this time. Complexion. That's what I realised. Time. Oh yeah, because it, it was it was Hagrid and shit. Yeah. Uh, also, we don't, we won't be able to learn Sectum Semper at all. Yeah, because that yeah. was a spell Snape invented. Yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of made me even more paler. I'm quite pale, aren't I? Wish there was something I could do to make my character look paler. It's like complexion's all good and dandy, but like, it's like some of these look really good, but it's like my my complexion just makes me look worse. Oh, oh. Mine are kind of like a, 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 are like a dark blue. Yeah, yeah. Gray, I think it's dark blue, gray. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and help him, okay? <gasps> okay. Let's stick with the, okay, yeah, there, there's not many for blue. I do, there. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stick with that one. That's me. I, I do have it all the way to the left. Eyebrows. Why, what's wrong? Uh, no, it's too much in the middle. How about color? Uh, it's because there is one. I wanted the reflection to put black under the eyes, young guy. Well, my eyebrows are just black, so I'll just keep them black. Boom, what do you think? Remember, there's no way of really changing whole jaw. 
fucking glasses. Well, the, his I face so. shape, but I can't. Once I've got like, I can't change in depth. Can I? Good, good soup. Good soup. I got my character. So I'll you down a little bit. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this Bye. class. A few cobwebs and some dust. Uh, got Nothing to be voices. concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I can very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm eager voices. to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite oh, no. something. A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I, I, I believe I'm I really going I'll to just, enjoy this class. I think I'll just keep that in the middle. I, the pictures are weird. I, I, it's I, fucking I, London, isn't it? You must name your character to proceed. I wanted to use my real name. I just used a name that was uh, different enough. Oh. I, uh, I really wanted to use my name. Will it only be the first name that shows up if I if I do it? I'm not sure. Can I only put a first name? I have to do my name. What do I do? I... I'm a wizard. Now going it's a bit difficult. Oh, my name, I did, I, I, oh. last name though. That's that's a bit tricky because I don't mind my first name, but last name is a bit. I've chosen subtitles. Well, can I only just put my first name? Wait, Cold, what do you what do you put your name? Uh JC Jones. It's kinda of like multiples of James, so it doesn't really matter what I choose. Okay, can I just like put it as Daniel? Here we go. Start my journey. Ah uh. No. Ooh. Daniel Pothead. No! Wild one, eh? Danny Pooter. Hey, cold. Wild one. How yeah. about that? Wild one. <laughs> <laughs> Wild uh, wilding. Yeah, I don't know that's like. Hmm. How about I just say fuck it and just put my actual last name? No. Not much can happen with a last name. I mean, I mean, I just, I just chose like a random last name. Daniel. Hey, baby, you want B. me to choose your last name? Daniel B. Wilden. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, what's your, what's your take? Um, Daniel Danson. <laughs> double D. No. <laughs> Either double D. Daniel B. Wilden? That's... that's a... Uh, hmm. Daniel Dan. <laughs> hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards Wild One. Oh, that's bad. Wild One? That would be funny. Hey, what what about my uh what about my dad's side? They're greens. Yeah, yeah I, I know I don't I don't know, I don't know. That was a pork cheese. I don't know what about Wild, I'll put wild. Ooh, yeah, W-I-L-D-E. 
It's Daniel Wild. How about that? Eh, Gunga, what do you think? Fine, I'll start my journey. Just nervous. You'll be fine. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate no, you right. working with me. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic oh, description oh, of our location God. did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> there you go. It's been Excellent. much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Elias. I'm just going to assume my character did of a course. spell to make it so that... Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term oh, wow. feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Cool. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Uh. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, oh. I believe he is a oh, significant oh. threat. And it was your Use wife, your camera, Eliazar, who okay. alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. Uh, yeah. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably oh. from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I 
I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. So much fun with the game right there. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor oh, George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Either, Professor? The, like, outfit for the so, kind of ugly. where are we? I'm not sure. Which makes sense. Like, but that key you discovered was clearly a porky. Porky. Sense, An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. One, two. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. I'm able to look around now. Oh, hello there, Professor. Just seen a visit. Ah, oh, there's nothing, is it? That's a shame. London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, mind I'll your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Perfect job. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. I remember the Lego Harry Potter games, how you could just go into one of the vaults and just but, sir, mess around. Why was your wife searching oh, well, for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus yeah. on the center. I get to do some wand magic now. I knew to look around, there was a chest. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! I suspect they valued their what privacy. That portal led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Seems kind of out of What were you saying? Why well, were I was wondering what, like, what Vault Harry's was? Summit 13. Here we go. Uh, I just need to change the audio a bit. To about 80. Say everything about 80. See how that goes. Oh, I saw that. Reason. Right, that, that might be better. <laughs> Gotta explore. Okay, yeah, how do I get that off? Get off, here we go. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Kinda of looks like Merlin. <sighs> oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> Professor, it's a mural of some kind. There we go. I learned a new spell. Perhaps our nice. host was a noted seer. Interesting. Uh, I'll turn this down. Okay, 
can go down there. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. Up somehow. Maybe up here. Nope. Mm. Maybe back to the statue, there might be something here. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Ooh. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone okay. here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow Yay, again. Spell. Like the glow on the port key container. Yippee! Lumos. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Oh, we're in the bank now. Yeah. Hello? Oh. Yeah. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> uh, Come on, we got this. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. Yes, I know. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Nice try. I got you, bitch. After you. I got it. inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> There's no seatbelts on that. How many volts are there in Green Cards? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main That's lobby. The, the vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall wow, before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? 
Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle him. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Oh, we got Momentous this. day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Huh? You motherfucker. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until Hello. today. Can you please hear? Yeah. Thank you for your help. Aha. Hmm. Uh -huh. I'm making the money gold. Heck yeah. I'm looking what at those chests. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Making them. I'm not sure. Sir. What? I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the about? holder of the key Chests. and then close the door. Chests? Wait. Yeah, I found two so far. I found any. <sighs> There's one next to the door of the, the bank when you go in. certainly unexpected. Ah, oh, bugger. Let me think. Well, that's about there to happen. There must be something here. Yeah, one on the island. Hmm. Hey, Revelia, I'm looking at a pensive right Revelia. now, though. Yes, a revealing charm. I'm going to use no time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. What? Okay. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I did it. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. You reveal your secrets. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do, but to what end I can't say. I Stay close. Lumos. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hey, my mouse keeps turning white. 
Oh wait, now it's changing colors. I see something up ahead. Why is it doing What that? is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Huh? Yes, sir. I'm fine. We didn't find... Mm. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, I want to cast Lumos. Nice. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh no. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, what where are you? I'm in the this dark. isn't good. Odds. Hey, I'm not just outside of her. Hey, Cole. Yeah? I'm liking the sound of Lumos. Give it a second. It's because I'm a... <laughs> uh, the loud, loud syndrome is that... Where am I supposed to go? All the thought of you liking What's something. What's happening? I like the whispers of magic about. seem to uh, be Lumos, leading Lumos, I like the sound of it because you're a man. Oh, the Lumos. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it reminds me of the sound of movies. It's great. Lumos. Yeah, it's cool. Ooh. I like the little, little whisper. Here. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Alright, I gotta fight again, apparently. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Wait, I don't want a Lumos yet. Because there's a chest. Listen, that, I missed out on three chests. Revelio. And it's not like I'm rushing either, because I'm only like three minutes, four minutes ahead of you. Lumos. Another chest. I can't get that chest. Reve I need to align these statues with their reflections. Alright, the, the chest I just can't get. It's only a bit of money Lumos. anyway, but... It seems I have no 
choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, I'm a fight. I'm ready. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shit! I wasn't ready. What's this? Uh, hold Q during potato. Oh, okay. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. First, before I continue. No, none. And I, I hope none don't appear when I activate this. Oh, right, it's just the door. Hey, Brian, there we go. I'm a half a half a pop. Revelio. Heck yeah. No, no chests, no trickery, none at all. More good to exit. Let's go. Oh. What's this place? Revelio. Oh, there's a chest in here too. Ones, you know. Yeah, did you not find any chests in the in the door once we've done the the thing in the Gringotts with the No You just not find any chests, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I've already, and I just got sorted as well. Yeah, luckily it's nothing not like hidden spell or anything, just a bit of money. did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that... basin. That is no mere basin. That is yeah, a it pensive the option to choose for viewing memories. You want, by the way. Oh. But it does the base off wonder. of your thing, so obviously if you... Um, if your wisdom will says Gryffindor will be like... But I think Gryffindor will suit you, and it says that as its opinion. Uh -huh. Which is good. That's pretty cool. And it's like, do you want to choose Follow a different house, or do you settled? And I'm like, yippee! Yippee! Yippee!
in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created. Oh, Professor Weasley looks like my nan. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not she be is a Weasley. personal. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to oh, obtain. Oh, wow, so pretty. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Mate. what you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can i see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed be... but could never wait is there any chest around okay I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. George I missed enough already. Died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will. Okay, should we go? Yes. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, so you shouldn't be in here. I was. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir? They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Yes. Where are we? Magical beasts are incredible. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, I'm going to the sorting ceremony. Good luck. Oh, I'm loving the music. 
I know. It's so nostalgic. Thank you. Oh. I like how the loading bar is just the houses. Yeah. Wait, I haven't seen the loading bar yet. Uh, in the bottom right when it was, it was loading the next shit. Oh, good. We ah. haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Just the animals. Mm. I'm no expert, but... That seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Yippee. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremonies oh, wow. over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you Yippee. sorted this evening. His, his clothes are broken for me. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll be in yeah, touch. Yeah, happened a couple times so far. It's pretty funny. Getting kind of low FPS on, on this part, though. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. That's really cool. Uh, I like to walk around the loom also like, for no reason. Huh. <laughs> I'm getting ah, sorted. I I found yes. one. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come oh, here with money. preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Ah, oh. wish to have put. Oh Jesus! Wait, does it matter what I put because it knows I want to be in Gryffindor? Uh, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I kind of want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Hey. Indeed. Much can be gleaned ah. by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Ah. Mmm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. This Willing to forge ahead alone. Perhaps you belong in okay. Gryffindor. 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 Better be Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Oh, why did I suddenly get like really low FPS? Oh, 
understand. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Very good to that. I just didn't expect it, it's all. Right. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. <laughs> but like don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic uh -huh. futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Uh, nope. <laughs> Didn't I see that. said, Hold on a second. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Uh, quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to I'm it, not even going to wear my robe. There's no point. As I was saying, I look like a badass. I'm Professor Weasley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Weasley. Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct nice honor to show others. you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for okay. a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being assaulted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password okay. is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may ah. enter. Library Annex. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. A flu. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. See, the beds look the same. I might change the performance, see what I get. Okie dokie. I got worse. I already know all <laughs> these. Wait, 18, See, I think that's good because there's like some of the questions is, is what? Tell me more about chance pass. Tell me more about Death Heads gets the Dark Arts pass. Or like, what's Hogs mean? And it's like, with those sorts of things, it's like, we already know about them. <laughs> Wait, what happens if I turn the RSS off? Hey, Colt. Yeah? Without the LSS, I'm actually getting about 60 FPS. Not bad. It's actually... might be getting a bit more. Now, which way is the common room? Ooh. This is a good place. Let's try and... Again, I wonder if I restore the default. Mm. 
Yippee. Okay, performance get, gives me a greater increase. I'll, I'll keep it on performance. I told her merely what we needed to. Wait, what? Okay, so human class will fill the story unlocking. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, maybe this is you need to be Trust the mirror by the professors of Saipens or his questions. I feel like Ompus Boost is getting the better latency. No, nope, that went up to like 50. Maybe just on. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Oh, Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Heck yeah. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting right, ceremony uh, last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal oh, casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Wait, is that a Hufflepuff? It is. Don't worry, he'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> if I can get it, <laughs> Professor Ronan's <laughs> sure to be very impressed. Begin. I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be 
shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Revelio. I can't place it because I don't have it. That girl thinks she can get away with it. If anything. I get caught, I shan't defend you. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. Mm. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? True. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! Also, I, have to do a I can't pass believe first. it. How mm. thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But, with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something oh, incredible no. here. A mission. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just got to introduce yeah. myself. Have a sip. Go on. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're oh. the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about oh, your Weasley? travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh. Didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your no. back. Seems you enjoy brewing. Wonderful. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you wow. might think. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor. Yeah. Professor Weasley's <sighs> waiting for you outside the common room. Ooh. All right. Revelio. 
No chests. Got it. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique right. situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? I yes, win! your ordinary wizard I'm and a They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education oh, no. at the Ministry, we've do? devised something extraordinary to, be able, like, to ensure your success. Ah, motherfucker. Here you are. <sighs> She's supposed to make me lose. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you oh, are learning, is, so that dumb. you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Oh my god. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put um. it to the test. This way. Revelio. Oh, the guide yes. will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. That's it warm! Why do students always frown? I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Don't touch me, Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! I'm keeping up, I'm keeping up. Hey, when do I get my wand? Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Revelio. Simply cast Revelio on oh, it, what the fuck? and we'll see that. what the guide says. I win. I am a genius. Hmm. I'm truly talented. So it was pretty easy to begin with. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. There's a cat. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. I thought I was a neighbor, but it's just a place. That was fun.
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Yeah. Revelio. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible oh, okay. to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, yeah. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be I like able that to she find included all pubs of the school well. supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Yeah. Shops and pubs. You will also, I imagine, Very enjoy right. many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses uh. on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, aura. we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hey, Faye, what, what class are you going to take first? What will I learn in Charms class? I'll exactly what you might expect uh, spells, oh, charms, really? jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining but wizard also the, uh, and a my, talented My two options teacher. were Dark Arts and Charms. Yeah, same. Oh, okay. oh, I thought it would be different. No, but... Oh, wow. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb I, uh, on your first day. I chose Charms as my first one. you have one. much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, oh, whoa, whoa. I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story <laughs> than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. It's fair, I found a howler. Oh, really? We did take a bit yeah, of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring uh -huh. some ruins, and oh, I shouldn't uh -huh. say more. Exploring uh -huh. ruins? <laughs> well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Let's do this, Chris. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. That's right. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. A lot of talking in the It's good to see you, Professor. <laughs> and you. Yeah. I was hoping our paths would <laughs> cross today really weird, weird before you immersed yourself in studies. Either. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about... Exploring ruins. Ah, there we go. She Leviosa. caught me off guard. It's I didn't tell her anything else about our travels there. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges mm -hmm. you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Against the dark hearts. The I'm map is enchanted well, to help boring, you find anyway, your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, well. sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your hours may so hinge on the magic you are able to master up, within these walls. The the you know what I don't get? Why didn't our oh. character know about owls? I mean, like... Uh, it's not like he awoke. didn't go to a school. He would have gone to others. No, no, no. Our character Rebellion. didn't go to any school, apparently. Really? Yeah. I'm also curious about how, like, nobody picked up on our character if they were, like, you know, that was legendary. Revelio. I have no idea. <laughs> you spit on someone. <laughs> to be getting low frames because of streaming. Professor Hecket! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Okay. 
Levioso. It's Levioso. Oh, you're doing that right now? I done both by fast. Ah, I'm just doing the one so far. Now, let's try something a little so larger. I both right now. I do like I do like the dual one too, though. Just like a nice like re refresh. Let's, let's put that to some games. Oh Jesus. Let us begin with the basic cast. Okay. okay. <laughs> See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember. Levioso. Good. Well done. Start with you two. It's good job. Duelist, take your marks. Sorry for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cards. I will give you a fair duel. You may begin. Attack me first, see what happens. Go on, go on. Do something. Do something. Okay, you're not doing anything. This should be easy. Protego, stupid Protego. Levioso. Excellent. Good form. I know. That is how you pass the I knocked him off the edge. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> what did you ask what I chose? More difficulty. Oh, hard. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Apparently Gryffindor. You struggle. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity so to practice. If what I've seen today yeah, is any indication, we can expect turns. great things yeah. from you. I demand I successfully turned my shoelace this morning. They are capable of achieving it, like and they must achieve it. I deserve the win. A classroom duel like, is you know, one thing, I my but baffling I dark wizards, or as <laughs> ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. I don't want additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle. Rebellion. Class is dismissed. <sighs> Chests. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. There's a chest of bobbers. Okay. Nice work. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair I enough. Like Sebastian, you owe me an up. honest duel when you aren't. You know, like, I saw him as a Slytherin You might first, be a no. perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization. Just a Slytherin with a cool attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exclusive yeah, and I'm unsanctioned. Be a child Count she's me really in. Nice and Excellent. She's really cool. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the but most out of your time cool at Hogwarts, you know, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Oh. 
Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower oh, entrance. Okay. Did you just say you're the if of you're thing? interested. Uh -huh. Till next time. I will log reward. Frost ones round one. Talk to Luke and Brattleby. Have to cut. Challenges. Oh, I got a uh, legendary gloves and a legendary cape. What? Oh, complete main quests. Uh, yeah, if you go on your challenges, is a. Oh, challenges. Yeah. Complete. Oh. oh, all right. Okay. Complete four main story quests, and you get a legendary cape. Right. Okay, I get you. Yeah, inventory. Ah, oh, collections. No. Uh, oh, challenges, challenges at the I bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's all the shit at the bottom. Additional content. I want to wear my mask. Dark I arts. like my gloves. Ooh. What's this? Dark arts. December. Ooh, that, that's snazzy. Oh well, you dark. You well, you can you wear your dark arts stuff. I'm not sure. It's just additional content at the bottom. It might be in the inventory. Additional, cont additional content. Yeah, I went on. on I went on collections next to challenges. Oh. You know, yeah, you get to see what stuff you've uh, acquired. Yeah, no, this, this is why it takes me ages to play a game, you know. <laughs> That's why I've not done the second mission yet. I gotta do my charms class. What's in it? Oh, right. Gear. Yeah. Uh, inventory. Oh, gear. Yeah. Alright, okay. Gear. Yeah. Uh, neckwear. Natural beige scarf. Mm. Outfit. Well, where's. Maybe we can't wear it yet? Maybe we gotta complete stuff first before we can start wearing shit. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Probably complete part of the main story. Uh Protego. Oh, nice to oh, see you, Protego. my young friend. Wrong one. Revelio. Yeah, I gotta go to my second class now. But I got a main I go ah. I unlocked that. I'm not sure what it was with that guy, but it was a uh, the dueling stuff, most yeah. likely. I was thinking of Griffin, you know, I, I, um, I don't mind being a bit mischievous, you know. Solemnly swear I'm up to no good. I, I swear, I swear. Oh, another cat. This is Siamese cat. You know what? What? Because I'm streaming. I'm gonna change it. Uh, where's my settings? How do I change my settings? Mm -hmm. I can't change. <laughs> it Escape is no longer settings menu. <laughs> oh, settings. Okay, it is in there. It's just at the end. I'm just gonna change everything to high. Uh, you know, because I'm streaming and stuff. Yeah. Because it did recommend it, but I wasn't streaming at that point. Yeah, like, I'm still getting like 80 plus, so. I'm good. Uh, turn it to high and 56, 57. One a bit higher. Settings. Quality, I think that's what it was on before.
Oh Jesus! Yeah, I'm not sure. Sure, that helped. I remember my monitor being cold, but yellow. It's weird, isn't it? Is it a yellow? Are you, are you? Oh no, the yellow? I'm not oh, sure how about that. Oh, I'm feeling my settings a lot, but I do want to get as much as I can, you know. I'll let it decide my fate. Oh, some of us don't necessarily want to Rebellion. Oh, and then the werewolves join the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the goblin rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the minister for magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. I don't get these door things. So if when they telling lies, Peeves, it was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves as flack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough! Yeah, I don't get You'll these thoughts. You'll get us things. all detention. And you're both wrong anyway. I think I'm gonna get it. So one, two, three. Thirty four fourteen and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So octopus scene. I don't get these door things. Hey, I I'll get it eventually. So what's that? Ooh, what's this? Maybe I'll tell us later. I don't know, so it looks like but there's like one thing right here. Oh wait. So I just started my other class. <laughs> a chance. Mm -hmm. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat. Wait, here. Tentacle on that. Thank you. Mm. Hello, I am Nettie. Well, I don't think she was in so the trailer. So you much. are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year Five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right. Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Four, five, uh, and one, two, three. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? One, two, three, four, five, hmm? six, seven, eight, nine. So unicorn. Hmm. Top one is unicorn. Uh, 
It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them what? out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. Akio. Yeah. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I learned Akio. Nicely done. I'm nice. a Gryffindor. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure so. the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so. What better than a bit of that sport? Makes sense. The one to question mark is with else. the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Yeah, fair. Just pick me because I'm new. Don't know fuck all. Only fought a dragon once, sorry. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, Akio, uh, think of this like Gob's excellent good happens to the best of us. Um... Wait. Very good. Okay. I did it. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Right. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Do you think that's good? Check this shit out. Akio. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Don't lose your watch this. There we go. Boom. Excellent control there. Misha. Well done. Okay, so I didn't beat her, but I did all right. I beat her. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? My first one fell off. Um. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'm gonna beat the shit I'll out of you now. 
Enough chatter. Um. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Splendid. A winner. Very good, both of you. Well done. Can you believe it? I've won. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very... Dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Aki. A word, if you would. If you're so. Revelio. Well, you'd be. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Aki o this, Aki o that, cutlery flying. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. 
Miss Unai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Crucial. I found the other spells. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yeah. What do you want? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Request available. I would like to do this crossed ones thing. See what that's about. Oh, so far away. I wonder... Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Oh, what I do? I went into a frog's mouth. That was odd. Revelio. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Lucan. Can I help you? Oh, Lucan. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I call one day a duel, crossed up. once. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yes. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, 
You could duel with a partner if you like. Hey, Cole. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Cole? Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. All right, Morning Mel. Akio, Protego. Don't shy away now. It's full go. Stupid. You're better than that. Levioso. Levioso. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. What are you up to now? Told you that. Transfiguration and another cat. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander 
will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. There you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying pig is. Where's Repero? Flying pig. Revelio.
flying page must be around here somewhere. Accio! Bring it. Might some kind soul help me? Oh? Yeah. Are you all right? Hey, Aiden. Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak. The girl whom everyone um, at school hates for no hey, reason. Fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, my... Everyone oh, hates you. My stuff bugged Why? out. Okay. Because Hogwarts is, that, oh, is, is that, full of that bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That yeah, no talent in my mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so yeah, I brought my collection times, down to the common room. Might just be in a story, my gobstone collection, that is. No. I was hoping right, someone my, would want to play. Headset. Are you like, familiar with gobstones? Games all Little works. balls, Not game. like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I just had a really sweet message too before I ended my my stream. Gobstones. Wait, yeah, Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what yeah. I tried to tell well, everyone. My wife was going to prove it. Not only that, so the fact cool. that. Just because I, they're sprayed all over the smelly gobstone spit, hours ago. it's their own fault for, for losing. <laughs> Should've really slept first. Then. Imelda is one of the I, I worst did, losers. I did. Everett and Story are terrible as well. And now those poor See? losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Yeah, I would say that like... In, in my stream... Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway... <sighs> I can't it's work out how to get them back on my own. This game, and I don't this is think the I know the necessary spells it's yet. The last game, I need someone the camp perhaps a selfless on this game and talented fifth year to help me. And it flopped. Now, I personally think giving these Haven't companies a second chance is always a not good really. thing. Like, you know, small no, companies hello that once, make it. But not but the thing since. is, when you want to boycott a product because it's leaked for bad Do you have any suggestions name, on how to get your gobstones down yeah. from their hiding spots? If that, I knew that, they'd get them but themselves. But at the same time, Whoever you're ruining it for hide. people who have spent days and nights working on it. Yeah, J.K. Rowling and I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. But the other percentage of it goes back to the creators of the game and back to the developers who work so hard on it. So don't boycott the game for those people because those people have families. They're working. They're just working class people. They they have no ulterior motives. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio, Accio. That's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. That's what I was doing. I, uh, 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 I started doing the uh, find the pages, but as soon as I did that, I saw she was uh, she's just right there. I was like, oh, hang on a minute, there's something else, and I'm looking for gobstones. <laughs> They're both next to each other, so once I've completed them both, I can just play. Hey. Yeah, Rebellion. I was on my way to do the um. I forget what it was. It was um. I was on my way to do the dueling class thing, like the. Oh, I, I did that just before I went to. Uh, I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. No, not the not the defense against the dark ass one. Yeah, no, I know, I know what you mean. He tells you to go to. Yeah, uh, the little uh, thing. I did that. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I I was I was trying to I was heading towards and I got stuck up on the gobstone thing. Yeah, I just gotta get to level two so I can go to uh Revelio. Uh thingy. What's it called? Hogsmeade. Hmm. Get that chest. Where's that fucking gobstone? All oh, right. Okay, I went too far up. Yeah, I'm gonna go bed in my common room in the Hobbit Hole. That's what the uh, Hufflepuff uh, dorm room is. Look like. It's a Hobbit Hole. Yeah, it does look good. It is. It oh, is. It is beautiful. I. Uh, Revelius. Accio. It literally looks like something out of fucking um, J.R.R. Tolkien's work. Found three so far. Well, good luck finding them. I'm gonna I'm go bed. You go? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll but, uh, but, 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 uh, 
Yeah, I'll stream when I wake up. But uh, just make sure you follow Flame. Uh, he's a good Gryffindor. Uh, he 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 ha he has thirty six Horcruxes. I counted them myself. <laughs> thirty six. <laughs> I had 37 last year. <laughs> 37 last year. Yeah, but we'll get you two while we're out. Oh, this is some shit I can't do yet. Revelio. You can't do this to me. No, no way. You can't do this. No. I'll figure out how, how they work. Well, the doors. Like yeah. the I'd better keep an eye like on high roll. places around the school for some obvious gobstones. Akio. I solved one of them. So that went through all the things and nothing worked. <laughs> oh um, my god, the stairs are the, creating themselves. On the one flame, it's the the bottom question mark is a spider, and then the top question mark is a three-headed hydra. Mm. Oh. I thought it was to do with the limbs of the creature, because for example, like the limbs add up to it. Once I've figured it out, you know, I'll know how to do it after. Yeah, just make sure you keep me informed. Revelio, Accio. Yeah, I'll leave you with a um. <clears throat> oh, how the fuck do I get up there? Oh right, I've just been going up the stairs when I shouldn't have been. Oh, Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Plenty of chests. Plenty of chests. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Revelio! Akio! Skidoosh. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Oh, yeah, I that. No, so I just map my way there. Said that travel broadens the mind. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gob. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, <laughs> off I go. Wish me luck. That's done. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good. If you would like to repair us, mending, have a go with that broken statue in the outer water. It's a legend.
allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover oh. thought it too accurate and lashed out. I did it. Protego! Revelio! Let's at least attempt this one. I still don't get it. Revelio Accio Lumos Revelio No, I just don't get it. Yeah, the hogs meet, I guess. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. Let's go. Revelio. Oh, okay, it was just that. Let's go. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. Potter. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Lumos. Do come and find me. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby.
Revelio. Rebellion. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the yep. village. I've been looking forward to it. I want my wand. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. So we're running. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to accept the invitation to you myself. Revelio. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Revelio. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. What? No, I, I want my... I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potions. Rebellion. I'm definitely going to be making my potions. Potion Master. Yes. Look! From the huh? Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something oh. started there. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Like we already named them. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. No, I'm going Why is it, it off limits? <laughs> the professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh, there's the dot. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley oh, mentioned no. that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more Press about rules. me than I had thought. I will say... Well, I certainly learned Rebellion. a great deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Hmm. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. 
I'm getting out of the castle and Rebellion. exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Akio. I'll come back for you. Lumos. Ah, what are you? Ah, not abandoning nothing. Revelio, Mr. Moon. He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Mm, pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. He sounds Moon. Like the sword, hey, huh? guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Akio. There is much to see outside of the castle where the room is Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. I got me some... Toad Stewart. I'm gonna make some potions later. Can't wait to get my wand, my festival, my hippogriff, my outfits. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Okay, the Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. For now, I just want my stuff. <laughs> Protego! Revelio! Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself! I will see you soon! First thing I want to do, Ollivanders. Oh, it's just right next to you. Okay. Ah. Merlin's blooming beard. Not again. Revelio. <laughs> I'll be right with. You, um, just a moment, please. Yes. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. 
That's not you my one. Do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. no. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen That's and three not quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. shelf for you uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated how perplexing um where are you perhaps you uh, ah there you are that's gonna be that one. yes I think you might be the one here Take it. Holly, Phoenix Feather, Wizardly Soul, 14 and a half inches. That's my wand. Curious indeed. Intriguing. Hmm. Curious indeed. Oh, what is my wonder actually? Well, you know, I'll give it one, one more. Firefox. How intriguing. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Curious indeed. Let's see. How intriguing. This doesn't break it. I guess I can customize it myself from here. Curious indeed. Oh, I don't know. Look at that one. How intriguing. That's not a bad one there. Curious indeed. 
natural. How intriguing. I don't know. They're all so good. That one does look like the Elder One, though. This one's got more design. Curious indeed. Like, this is just a twisty thing. I don't got a spiral. There's a classic. How one intriguing. For it. Indeed. This one doesn't look too bad because I like the notch bit. I don't like the How colors. intriguing! Curious indeed. This one looks quite nice. I'm torn. Curious indeed. Maybe a classic? I don't know. Intriguing. Curious indeed. That one. Or that one. Nice dark brown. Black. How intriguing. This is difficult. Curious indeed. I'm gonna go with the classic. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. 
Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio. Who do I have to visit next? What are you? Magic need potions and scrolls. Okay, well, let's see what's close. Magic need human scrolls. Okay, scrolls seems to be close with. Ah, okay, right. I'll just I'll go back. I'll go back. That's just right here. Rebellion. Accio. Supposed to come to you? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, Feel free to Damn. take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Maybe later. Revelio. A large chest. I'm stealing. Right Accio. Avada Kedavra is painless. How utterly boring. The Ministry are the real criminals for allowing Dementors to run Azkaban. It's inhumane. Okay. Potions is... I don't know. Left. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Stroke for the cat. Oh. 
potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. And then... Ah, right, it's the, uh... Just back here. Well, hello there. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. These are expensive. I get my broom. What? Oh. I don't believe it. My day is ruined. I'll never be able to fly. What's this? Clothing shop. Hello. 
Revelio. My items? I don't know. It's fucking stall coming. Lumos. <laughs> this is mine now. Oh, hello. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one.
goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? Yes. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Revelio. Reparo. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Akio. Repair us. I'm a magician, Harry. Hey, who's Harry? One less thing for us. One last thing. Repair her. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, now, let's Being try this on for size, humble. shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more. I want my stuff. One time. Ooh. Cool.
But how do I put them on? I want to put my robes on. Yeah, I don't know. Just random stuff marking off. items should you be inclined you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your assuming it is not too busy you might even meet Zerona the owner she is a charming hostess and a powerful witch good one to know said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, no time, Lane. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? 
Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. <laughs> one would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelio! After I've stolen a few things. Because if there's one thing I love, it's stealing. When you're allowed to. Hamora is like a, a lesson one thing. It's year one stuff, and I'm supposed to be in year five. Has no one taught me this before? Why? Do I even have a lot more? No, I do. Yeah, you do. You're supposed to. Where is it? I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Rebellion. Ooh, I have an owl. Okay. I was in Gringotts before. Far away, isn't it? Very far away. Okay, then this is... Oh, okay. Upstairs. Upstairs. I've lost. Rebellion. What are you up to now? 
Oh yeah, house. Nick! Why can't I go free you? You're a ghost. Revelio. Not a chance. Last time I was in there, she'd spilled a bottle of Skelligram. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Perhaps. Revelio. To be on the other side. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the new camera. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say, after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Revelio. Revelio. Ooh.
Okay. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Upstairs we go. Yes, big dragon, big dragon. Ah, I believe we have some. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Rebellion. Rebellion. I've already done this one. Repairo. Accio. Levioso. Ready for another round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. There's no one in the school I'd be afraid to duel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Okay. Ready for another round? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Hmm. Yes, natty. Then let's get the to it. One. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. What? Three. Nice. 
Screech. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Let's do it. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. Okay. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Akio. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Assignment's all finished. I think I'll miss you. Really? I shan't miss you. Oh, stop. Revelio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, okay, so it's two. It's two. Four. Grab. Let's grab. Okay. Uh, three. Zero. Six. Five. Owl, oh, maybe? Thinking on the. Oh, that. Maybe unicorn? Does, does it have a unicorn? Oh, there's already a unicorn on there, so I can't use a unicorn.
down here. Okay. Revelio Accio. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing with these. They are mind boggling me. The double oh okay so one question is that one. double question is that one okay 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 so I think I got the double one right what's the single one now second and three it's no unicorn Oh, so it was that one. Ooh, Christmas. I think I'm getting it. Not too sure of myself. Off on another adventure, are we? Roll down the stairs. Very safe. Roll it, roll it. Hold on again. <laughs> what? You offering something? Oh, okay. So I chose the wrong blue. Right. I'm sorry. Revelio. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Perfect. Good work. They gotta get rid of repair. Mm. 
Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Lumos. Ah. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Revelio Lumos Revelio There's a bunch of cats. Hold on. Revelio. What are you? Lumos. Nope. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yes. Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. I don't get it. Accio. I will learn your secrets one day. Into the door. Into the door. Gotta wait. A wizard always waits. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Possibly. I'd like to find more. Rebellion. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Brookwood and Harlow. 
Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Oh. I'm not sure I follow. I, I barely followed that. myself, and I was there. Anyway, we Could ended up in an that. ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Revelio. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Ooh. Can I not change it on? Hmm. Guess I'll just change it on. I'll be quieter than a job and all. I cannot see you.
the bookcase. Okay. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Homora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. You don't see any. Sneak 100. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book? Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Okay. Downstairs we go. Sneak 200. Don't let her see you. What? What? Ah! Uh, uh. No. You'd be wise to get out of here. It's not safe for young mortals. Try again. Crafty old ghost. Saw right through me. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> I panicked. I should have just went back. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I got you, I got you. Don't let her see you. Sneak to 100. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I will skulk. I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Yeah. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? Oh, no. Bruce, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. I told Don't you need to, to concern skulk. yourself with that right now. Lied. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secret. 
Why didn't the other one out? Why couldn't I search the other one? It's horrible. They got 500 in there? Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. I'll have to go back to the girls' bathrooms later. Levioso. Thank you very much. Revelio. Yes, spin. Levioso. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caughty. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair her. Revelio. Of course. That's it. There must be more to this room. No ghosts in here. And a very large chest for me. Where might this lead? Run. Oh, okay. It just stays there. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Revelio. Tough chest. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost missed this. Reveal your secrets. Oh, 
Hello. Let me also. Accio Revelio. I'm gonna get across to the bridge. This must be the way forward, but to where? Wait, what's down here? Revelio <laughs> Don't know how to do that one. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Oh. Try again. Gotta be quicker. I did I did it. Stupid. In 
incendio. So it's gonna be really close. any of these anywhere. Is a book after all.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hammer. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Where to now? Is this an owl? Lumos. Hmm. Where is that again? Okay, yeah, swirly swirls. Must be close, then. Huh. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? What are you? Revelio. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, 
Okay. Okay, so that weird... Huh? What is that? down. I do not get it. the squiggly part. what that Hufflepuff girl said in 1421. What lovely style. Oh, that's class, that is. I'll figure them out one day. Lumos. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, Beyond I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. 
I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Boom. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of cross ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Whoa! No, not yet. No, my arms are just not straight there. <laughs> oh. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Open. Open. It won't open. Revelio. I want my stuff. <laughs> gloves are gloves. Snazzy. They actually do defense. Damn. Okay.
What are those? my gear. Well, where's my gear? What is it? What's this? Appearance option. Okay. change appearance of it. Oh, okay, okay, right, okay. Figure it out. Oh, right, okay. Get it. Nice. Okay. Oh, looking sharp. But I'll keep that over. It'll look good. It'll look good. Oh, yes. Oh, hello. Revelio. What is this? How do I? Oh. Accio. Oops. Maybe I should just repair you real quick. Repairer. But the butterfly. What I do with the butterfly? I don't know. Leviosa.
spare a moment? I could use your help. This guy, should I get this guy here? Uh, Duncan. Protego. What? Yeah, just gear. I don't know about bells. Quests. Herbology. That's just one of the side quests I, I got to... Yeah? Oh, I can track it. Okay. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Repairer! Lumos. I gotta get that butterfly somehow. I'll be weak, says he'll give me some. There's the butterfly. Accio. Accio. Repair. Levioso. Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, okay. There's just new moths. Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Rebellion. Lumos. I really have made a mess of things. Yes. Lumos. Repero. Levioso. Accio. Of side quests. I think I got some nice defense now. I like that. Best gloves, best gloves.
quests. I'll see if I can do one more. Expelliarmus. Yeah, it's a clock tower, isn't it? Yes. I think. I don't know where I'm going. So I've got to perform ten rolls in incendio. Five times. So I'm not going to need. Drone. Got it. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Yes. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll do Sebastian. Yes, now. Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Or. Or. Why is the fourth? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to do it. Okay, love you also. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. That's all you've got. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Shit. Then dodge roll. Dodge roll. Incendio. There goes my way. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Was breakfast out of you that round. I know. Good to try again. Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Excellent. Good luck out there. I'll get rid of one of them, make it easier. Incendio. Uh, I think I wasn't concentrated enough. Fucking hell. Care to try again? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Just need to get rid of one of them, make it. Levioso. Levioso. 
Try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good out luck out there. there. I think that'll just be the best best thing. Incendio. Akio. Come on. Incendio. Akio. Fucking hell. I'm doing really shit now. Care to try again? Yes. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Springer! Akio! Springer! Care to try again? Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Fuck it. Jesus crap, this is gonna be hard. What the fuck? Just attack him. Send Attack him. Akio. Again? No, I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. But don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Yes. Huh? Oh, I did it anyway. <laughs> did I? Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Wait, Second did I pack. pick the wrong one? Ready to redeem yourself? I'm not quite ready yet. Did, did it Very swap well. It? Am I supposed Don't to take do too long, dummy? though. I think I did the rolls. I'm supposed to talk to the dummy, aren't I? Talk. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Yes. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Accio, incendio. In 
incendio. Incendio. Levioso. Oops. Oh, I got a bit cocky. Keep trying. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed wands. Other duelists had better beware. <laughs> Guess who the main character is? to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Excuse me. Uh, Expelliarmus. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused oh, mind yes. and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Shush. The disarm charm. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick. But Accio. Expelliarmus. Lumos. Yeah. Accio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I don't know. I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. 
time itself. I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Now... Settings... Let's get the... Them on. And then... Uh... This may break. Well, it's certainly trying. Accio! Leviosa! Expelliarmus! How nice to see you, my young friend. Ooh. Oh yeah, so it's definitely affecting stuff. Definitely working right there. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small uh, project. No. Don't get it. I don't think there's a ray trace in itself, I just think it's it can't handle out here. Especially whilst I'm streaming, that's the hard part.
maybe quality will do the trick. No, barely anything again. What if I just turn DLSS off? That's, uh, that's no good at all. Yes, not bad, be better. Go inside. This is outside. Revelio. No, it's getting worse. Ooh. this? NVIDIA NIS That's weird. I, I see what it's trying to do, but it's weird. weird. What will that do? Oh. Life seems rather dull in the house. Rather... That's actually working quite well, to be fair. Lumos. Off on another adventure, are we?
Yeah, not a lot to do. Well, that's been fun, and I'm just going to end it there. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.